Okay, so what is this, what is this OBU and why is it advantageous for so many ACC students to pursue it? So I'm going to give you an exact understanding. Keep up with me, right? A lot of people want to study OBU because it is an additional bachelor's degree. So in Bombay, so I'm going to give you a comparison with Mumbai University, okay? So how we have BCom from Mumbai University, right? If I study BCom, I get my BCom degree from Mumbai University. In the same way, in UK, I can get my BSc, which is the Bachelor's in Science and Applied Accounting. So think of it as like a specialization in accounting degree, bachelor's degree in UK, BSc in Applied Accounting from Oxford Brookes University, OBU, Oxford Brookes University. So we have BCom from Mumbai University, we have BSc in Applied Accounting from Oxford Brookes University. So I hope you have first of all understood that parallel. It's like BCom I'm getting from Mumbai University as a bachelor's degree, same way I'm getting BSc as a bachelor's degree from Oxford Brookes University. Why are people applying for this? Two reasons. Number one, unlike BCom, where you have to attend for three years and you have to give these exams and all, because of ACCA's um, qualification, you get this BSc in Applied Accounting at almost no effort or at least negligible effort compared to attending college for three years and paying so much for uh, this Oxford Brookes University degree. So people, first of all, get it much more easily. And second, once you have it, you have triple qualifications on your CV. You'll have ACCA, you'll have BCom or whatever you study here, and you'll have a bachelor's degree from Oxford Brookes University, out of which only BCom will be from India. The other two are going to be globally, globally recognized degrees. This is the reason people generally get OBU degrees. Right? Now, how does this entire thing work? So I'm going to break it down for you. So first of all, uh, you need to ensure that you are eligible for OBU. How do you, so you have to log into your My ACC account, okay? And before you appear for F7, F8 or F9, which means before you appear for financial reporting, audit or financial management, before you appear for them, you have to log in and either opt in or just check whether you've opted in for this BSc from OBU. There is an option somewhere in your My ACC. You have to check it to ensure that it's there. You have to do it before you appear for F7, F8, F9. If you're exempted from either F7, 8 or 9, you need to forfeit this exemption. Only then are you eligible for this. A lot of people do this because they believe it's better since I'd rather give one extra paper which I'm exempted from, but I get my bachelor's degree. So that depends completely on the on you. Right? Would you prefer taking a break uh, from or would you prefer giving an exam and getting the bachelor's degree or would you claim that exemption and you don't want the bachelor's degree? Sorry. So as long as before appearing for 7, 8, 9 you opted in, you're fine. Any other paper before that, if you are exempted from, it does not matter. Your F7, F8, F9, before you need to opt in and once you pass F7, F8, F9, you are then eligible for the OBU degree. Okay. Now third, what is the... Uh, what are the sessions? So, OBU sessions happen every May and November, meaning you submit it every May and November. Right? How does this whole thing work? I'm going to explain it as a process to it. Very simple. You need mandatorily an OBU uh, qualified mentor. It is mandatory. Right? So, the mentor we have, uh, what, what she does is, um, OBU has 20 topics. You need to choose any one topic which the mentor will guide you with, okay? And you have to submit a 10,000 word research report, like a thesis, mainly which the mentor helps you with. This is the most important reason why you need a mentor. You choose the topic with the mentor, she'll guide you through it. Before you submit it, she'll give you all the changes and once it's all approved, you submit it. Hopefully, you will pass in the first go and you will receive the degree from OBU, the BSc degree from OBU. Uh, of course, it does not mean that necessarily once the mentor approves, you will pass, but you have the highest chance of passing. Uh, what does the mentor do? Mentor splits the work into two parts. First is a group session. She will conduct um, two to three group sessions over certain weekends, um, online, physical, depends on the mentor. And she will suggest to give you an understanding of all the topics of how to approach this entire thesis. And after that group session is done, those two, three group sessions are done for a few hours, then 
the mentor goes one to one with you again for a minimum of three sessions spread over weekends for a couple for 45 minutes one hour depending on the uh, equation with the with the mentor and he or she will help you with all the details as to how to approach this once you've done that work you submit it after you've completed f7 f8 f9 technically speaking you complete your entire fundamental level of acci then you submit it if it works you're great you get the degree and then you would technically be triple qualified so this is what ruby is the approximate fees which you pay the body is around 380 pounds as of today uh, that's around 30 between 35 40 thousand rupees and the an additional you would have to pay the mentor whatever the mentor charges are so this is sort of the summary of obu if you would like to understand more about acca more about the differences between ca and acca you can check out more videos uh, and if there's anything else about acca you'd like to know please let us know